I look back at those three months now and um, uh, the very fond three months in actual fact were very fond memories. The, um, the time spent at the cave was uh, fairly difficult, very difficult in fact. Um, it was midwinter. Uh, we had to deal with below zero temperatures. Um, we had to deal with very cold conditions, very, uh, very difficult conditions in the cave and outside the cave. Ultimately, it was all a team of people that had come together in order to achieve something that hadn't been achieved before. We were all really driven to do this project and to do the filming, and it took everyone involved to get every, every stage of it to work. Firstly, there had to be the spiders. We needed these wonderful, beautiful spiders to be able to tell this story. Without them, it wouldn't exist. Then there's the research. If we hadn't done the years of research on these animals, we wouldn't have known that this story existed and we wouldn't have known what we wanted to film and we, what we wanted to present to audiences. And then finally, there was the dedication to actually get that footage, to actually spend the time in the cave, not to muck around getting a half done shot, not to muck around getting footage that didn't quite tell the story or wasn't perfectly done, but to really do it well. And, and that completed the jigsaw puzzle of what it takes to bring a story like this to the screen. Being a natural history cinematographer is really quite a difficult gig. Not only difficult in terms of being out in the field, it's a difficult way to make a living. There's not too many jobs going about and certainly not in a small place like Tasmania. So it was an absolute honour to come in at this stage and be given the opportunity to go down in the cave, be shown and be told all about the mating and uh, the natural behaviour of the cave spider by people that had, had put in blood, sweat and tears to gain that information uh, was really an enormous honour. And uh, it was one of the proudest days of my life, the day that we actually captured those key moments within the life cycle of the spider. We knew that this was going to be a hard story to capture on film. What we didn't expect, though, was the extra information that we would get as scientists, because we thought that this was going to be a case of documentary making that would capture the science and would bring that science to an audience. What we instead got was also footage that was so detailed, so fantastic, that it started to inform the science as well. And we're starting to find out things that we hadn't seen before that added to this whole story. We've still got lots of footage to go through. We've still got lots of it to analyse and to draw the pieces out. So this story isn't over yet, but the beauty is that it's really informed what, what we know of these spiders and the knowledge continues to grow. This has been an insight into the behind the scenes story of capturing unique footage of an even more unique natural history subject. Now that we have glimpsed behind the scenes, a much larger story can unfold. The full story of 16 legs.